All right, we're back at the water cool Briggs again today. I just got done degreasing it. That's uh, not degreasing it, but uh, cleaning it with lacquer thinner. Uh, that's why it's a little discolored, but uh, no worries. All right, what we're going to do today is uh, a little more uh, mud work. I think uh, we'll do the top. We'll try and do the top, the side, and the bottom. I'm trying to turn it around here. One hand. There you go. Yeah, I think. Uh, let me grab a seat here. Thanks. What we'll do is uh, we'll start on the bottom here. That way, that won't that won't get in our way. You know, and we won't we won't be touching it after it's done. We got that all cleaned up, all ready for uh, epoxy. So we'll do the bottom first, and then uh, we'll turn it upside down. And uh, I think maybe we'll do the top, and then we'll save this for last. Because once the top is done, we can set it on the side. Okay, and then after that, it, it should just be a little touching up. And then maybe we'll just uh, keep filling this in as we go. Alright, let me find a tripod for you guys. I know you like it up there. Alright, well, yeah, we got a bunch mixed up here. And we'll just. Uh, Bit in the time here. Try not to make too much of a mess. Just uh, pushing it in there, make sure it gets all the little nooks and crannies. And, uh, can you see that? I'll tilt it back a little for you. If we get enough in there, we can uh, smooth it out. And then I'll show you a little trick on how to make it real smooth. You guys are saying I should be using a little uh, body putty spatula. Well, we got them. We got them right here. But uh, I want to push it in there with a the screwdriver. It seems to be doing a better job. more like doing the uh, concrete work than, than body work. I'm going to try and smooth that out a little bit, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, I smeared that down there. I haven't used a spatula or anything like that, a putty knife. I just put it down there with a, a screwdriver. But uh, here's a trick for you guys that uh, don't deal with epoxy much. i got uh, a little bucket of water over here. And all you do is uh, just wet your finger. You, you know, you don't have to have the gloves on. You, you guys should... Uh, do this with your uh, bare naked finger and then you can actually shape this and actually go like I want to make it go right around the turn here right up right up against the block here so it's like a, a seamless bend almost like a caulking uh, gun this doesn't affect the strength of this either 
and this is this this gives you less sanding too. Once your once your finger is wet, you can actually remove this stuff. And then if it gets a little too uh, wet for you there, you can actually just uh, get some of the water off of there. Get into little nooks and crannies here. So that's that's just about perfect. I, I can feel that with my finger. I can actually move it and feel where the high spots are at. So I like that. Yep. I taught not too fast for you, Jim, to do that, and uh, he loves it. So he does is uh, rub the rubbish stuff around with his finger. All right, I'm going to shut these off for now and uh, go around the rest of this thing. Okay, pretty much got the bottom done there. As uh, as that water evaporates, you, you'll see it's got a, a real nice uh, line to it, smooth. But I'm happy with that. I left a little edge on here so I can sand that off and it'll be perfect with a nice crisp edge. Okay, what I think I do now is, uh, since that'll be okay, I think we'll, uh, we'll fill in all these little crevasses. Alright, give me some room. Alright, maybe we'll show you a little bit going around. This ain't going to take much. Like I say, just going to fill in these little uh, gaps here. Take a little more on the rest of it. All right, I'm gonna play around with this a little bit with my finger, and it uh, should be done. All right, I got the top done there. If you can see that. But uh, I'm happy with that. It's all smoothed in pretty good. Now, I had this low spot right here I got to touch up. And this low spot right here. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try and prop it up on its side somehow so I can. Well, I guess I'll do them and then uh, prop it up so I can do the back here. And then uh, we just put it inside and let it harden overnight. All right. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. That was a low spot, so I'll sand that in. That'll blend right in. And then we got this side over here. I fixed my edge up and everything like that. And now I can tip it on the side and we'll fill this in, and we'll be good to go. All right. That's laying down here. I'll try to put this on here. Actually, got it blocked up. But you can see that we got it up on blocks. An old car. Try to put this in here without uh, getting too much in the threads there. Working in little nooks and crannies. All right, I'm gonna dick around with this a little bit, and then uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done. Okay. I'll put it on a little thick, that way, you know, I can sand. It's going to be an easy sand because it's all flat, so let me turn you around this way. Give you a better look. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy. Try and smooth it out a little bit. Shake it 
chip up the sides here. This is where we were low before. Mine away. Alright. So I'm going to smooth this out a little bit. Make a little less sanding. Shape it a little. And then uh, after I get done that, maybe we'll, uh, we'll throw the rest of the putty. I got, I got, I actually mixed a, a an extra lot, you know, more than I needed because I, I knew we we're going to fill this in. So maybe we'll fill that in, and then uh, mix some more. This ain't going to be enough to finish that. So, all right, let me take around with this a little bit and uh, get that right. And then I'll get back to you. All right, yeah, we're liking that. I'm going to take it in the house now and uh, let it set overnight. But uh, since we've still got some uh, putty left there, some epoxy, I'm going to move you over here. Huh? Hold on, hold on. All right. Move back these up a little bit. All right. Not too much. Crank these in here. Hold on. All right. Let me, turn you, let me turn the screen around here so I can see you guys. Alright, what I've been doing is putting it on the top. And then, whoop, almost lost some there. And then just working it all the way to the bottom. And then once it gets all filled in, I know there's no air pockets and I'll uh, smooth it out a little bit. You can also smash some into the sides here. You probably can't see that from where you're at. But it's been working pretty good. Alright, let me slop this up and then we'll shape it up a little bit. Alright, this stuff's actually going further than I thought it would. It's not much different than uh, frosting a cake. Any bakers out there? Yeah, I see you. Any closet bakers? So let me just come around here. Look at that, look at that icing. That's the one inside of here. Then now you got plenty in there when you see it pop up the top. I'll go over this with the putty nice knife and uh, make it a little bit nicer. I think I'll actually go, I'm gonna go around this side now. Let me shut you down and move you out of the way. Alright, I used the ball or epoxy here now. I'm, I'm just going to fine tune it. There we go. do is uh, get the edge down here so I don't have no sand in the dough. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I think I'm going to do with this instead of sand, I think I might actually put this on a lathe and, and then cut it with the lathe. See how that works. Let's see.
I'm liking it. You can see it looks a little, looks a little sloppy now, but it look, uh, look pretty good when I get done with it. Maybe just take uh, two more. Let me get in here. All right, take two more coats of this stuff, and it should be done. All right, I'm liking it. I don't know how uh, long this video is, but uh, it is what it is. If it's a short one, it's a short one. If it's not, it's not. All right. Enough for this.